<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're looking at Dragunity Beatdown, as brought to you by Patreon sponsor Nightfang, who wanted to see Dragunities in 2019, and gosh darn it, that's what I'm giving him. Uh, now, this is not the best deck. It kind of relies on generic staples, things like Infinite Impermanence, Called by the Grave. But it's also not the worst deck. If it gets a fairly decent hand, you can usually play through a negation, maybe even two, and put on enough damage to OTK, especially with this guy, Dragunity Knight Ascalon, their new boss monster, who's basically like a dark arm dragon, except it banishes cards. Really nice. They've also got a new link. It's not out in America. It doesn't even have a release date for America, which means normally I wouldn't be playing it, but when it comes to Patreon requests, I'm willing to bend the rules a little bit. Now, if you just want a deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate shorter video there. I'll go over everything in here, just explain how it works. Otherwise, in this video, I'm playing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you some combos, and hopefully, we'll have a little fun. <laughs> All right, here we are, first duel against my arch nemesis player, showing his ugly face right away. And you want to go second with this deck, generally, and it looks like that's what we're getting. Uh, we don't have the best hand. In fact, it's safe to say our hand is pretty mediocre. You don't want to see two of pretty much anything in your opening hand. It, it's really weird. You want to play three of everything because you want to get a... Def you want to get... There's a lot of cards that you kind of need. But at the same time, you don't want to see more than one of everything. And these two are, like, almost the same. They serve essentially the same purpose. Basically, what you need is, like, a non-tuner drag unity, of which we just play these two. You need a, uh, a tuner, or some way to get a tuner into the graveyard. And then everything else is just sort of, like, extending your combos or letting you play through negation. Which I guess is kind of the same. It, that, that, that's how this deck works. If they have negation, you can hopefully play through it with your extenders. If they don't have negation, then you can just extend even further, make big huge boards, OTK your opponent, or if nothing else, just do too much damage that they, they can't put up with it. Oh hey, it's the not UA that looks too much like a UA and had all my hopes and dreams up in smoke. So sad. No, this is some sort of cybers thing. You can link summon during your opponent's turn, which is neat. Hey, terraforming, that's what I like to see. Dragon Ravine really helps this deck out quite a bit. Um, let's see here. So, this can't do anything. This can link summon during my opponent's turn, so it might be able to stop my plays. I don't know what they can make because there's so many dang old link... There's so many cyber monsters. Like, who could, who could really... Okay, he's just gonna do it immediately. Okay, so I guess I'll find out. Um, Xcode Talker. Choose monster zones, up to the number of monsters currently in the extra monster zones, those can't be used. Okay, so nothing. Great. Uh, let's see here. So, well, I'm actually going to try to do something a little neat here. Oh wait, what is this? Uh, let's see. Opponent cannot target them with card effects. Okay. Which is kind of bad, I kind of need to target things with card effects. That's fine. You could discard one, add one from your deck to your hand, and I'm actually going to pick Bandestock, which is one we, ju we just played at one. That's just... And it... No! C come on, man! I was gonna do so much shit! I was gonna do things and stuff. Aw, oh, that's so sad. Um, I guess I'll take the win. Just because I did... I guess I scared him or he fucked up or something. I'm not going to let him have the satisfaction of calling that that a tie or a win. I, I'm going to call that a win, but well, let's go ahead into the second duel, and hopefully we can actually play out a turn. <laughs> Alrighty then, here we are, the second and hopefully better duel versus Chris Miss. I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, we've got two tuners, no non-tuners, going up against Metaphys. He opens with the Ragnarok, but we open with the... Oh, I can't activate anything because Metaphys Factor. That's a sad one. That's a wee bit of a sad one. Oh, that's gonna put. That's gonna make. Oh, that's. Mm, ah, mm, ah, mm, oh, okay. 
Uh, special summon? No? Okay. You got it. That's why you don't want to go first with Metaphys, generally. Um... Yep, sadly, not much I can do. Just gonna set this for now. I can do something next turn. Metaphys generally can't OTK you. But then again, I, I, I mean, you, you never know what'll happen. I can still do some stuff. I can prevent this from activating its effect. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead. We'll let him attack first. Yeah, he's gonna go for that one. That'll kill my thing. Good, I want it in the graveyard. And then if this inflicts d battle damage, normally he could summon a Metaphys, but I'm gonna be like, nah, dog, I ain't going out that way. I take less damage, and also he can't summon a big thing and do even more damage. Which is good, it's what I want. It's what plants crave, so that gets shuffled back. Do the truffle shuffle! Spit that back out. Alright, so, we could special summon Garuda by banishing a wind. We don't really want to, but that's just kind of what we've got to do. And I just realized that what I'm... okay. I'm in, I'm in danger. <laughs> because my main monster banishes stuff, and... I'm not really wanting to be banishing stuff on this deck where he gets effects when he when stuff gets banished. But there's not much else I can do. At least this way I can go in for massive damage. So you make your synchro. Using your tuner. And then you cry. You just cry. Um. Alright. Well, my life is forfeit then. That's just what happens. Gotta watch out for that one of Solemn Warning. Alright, he's got his Ace of Metaphys. Once he gets like two or three spell traps, it's just over. There's just not much I can do. What I really need right now is my dang old, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit. Oh great, now he's got two of them. That's twice as many. Well, at least I can take less damage. Slightly. No, I think that's still game. Dang old Solemn Warning. I don't play any Spell Trap Destruction. Mostly because the amount of people playing, like, Counter Traps and stuff like that, pretty low in this meta. Normally it's a lot more making big old monsters that are going to be doing things that hurt you. Uh, I'll survive this turn, but unless I get Dragon Ravine, I think I'm just dead. I might even be dead even if I get Dragon Ravine, but we're, we're about to find out. Only time will tell, and only time will be hell. Oh? Cowboy for game! He actually plays the cowboy! Okay, well we lost, but... What you gonna do? You get a bricky hand, and you get the dang old uh, solemn warning. Let's go ahead into the third duel. <laughs> Okay, here we are, the third duel versus one, which is kind of weird. He should have been the first duel. Probably would have been better. What we'll find out, maybe this would have been a better showing than, than activate Dragon Ravine and then my opponent surrenders, because he's like, Fuck man, you're playing Dragunities, I can't fuck that shit. How about... No, your plays don't get started, good sir. Stop right there, criminal scum. Because the, the Dragunities, they're kind of, they've got this uh, ancient Roman kind of kind of look to them. A lot of them do. I mean, not all of them. They're based off different weapons. Some of the, the Synchros are based off, like, Celtic weapons and stuff like that. But a lot of them, like, Phalanx and Ducks and Senatus and Legionnaire and stuff. They're, they're named after ancient Roman things. And the, the, uh, the Imperials in Skyrim are also based off of sort of Roman ideas. Or not Skyrim. I mean, they're in all the Elder Scrolls games, but they were mostly known in Oblivion. Oblivion took place in the Imperial homeworld, where there's a their main city had a lot of like pillars. It was very Roman inspired. So that's why they have the guards. They're like, stop right there, criminal scum! Your your deeds are forfeit. Surrender now, or face or pay with blood. Something I I forget. I didn't I didn't memorize the whole thing. 
was originally going to put the little, little Skyrim, or not the, uh, I was going to put the little Oblivion Guard helmet on him, but it's like, um, if I put that on, like, Ducks is already wearing a helmet, so if you put a helmet on a guy who has a helmet, then it just becomes completely unrecognizable. He's barely recognizable as it is, because the drag unity's like, you just use him as a stepping stone to make the synchros. Like, there he is, there's Ducks, I believe, no. Ducks, he's riding there, but you can't, you can't see him because it's like low quality art. Ducks is somewhere on one of these. I tell you what. Um, make that, do you even have, oh, you can just add one. Okay, let's see. Once per turn, when a spell trap perfect, you can return one card you control with a spell. Okay, so that, that might just like, screw the pooch, if you know what I'm saying. I just might be completely done. There might just be nothing I can do. Because he could just return that or return himself, I believe. Or I guess return this. Return one card with a spell counter. Yeah, this has a spell counter. Okay, he's doing... Okay, we'll be back. We'll be back and see if we can fate fight through this. I don't think we can. Because I think with the hand we currently got, we can't really play through a whole bunch of negation. And a lot of our stuff targets, and again, this can't be targeted, can't be targeted. Um, if only cannot, I mean, I can still attack over this with 3,300. I can attack over both of these, just not on the same turn. Unless I get this, I might be able to do something. I don't know, we'll see when we get back. Oh? Oh, okay, one second, we're not going You had... Two monsters, untargetable, and a negate on board, and you got rid of them so you could draw more cards? What can you possibly do with these three cards that I guess he hasn't pendulum summoned yet? He could pendulum summon them back, but then they wouldn't have counters. Would that really be better than what you had before? Maybe? I don't know, I guess we'll- okay, now we'll be back. Okay, yeah, he just did the same thing, except this placed two spell counters. Okay. So... I kinda need to activate a spell to do stuff. <laughs> That's a little bad, but I think I can still... Maybe... I might have what it takes to make a rock and roll band. No, I don't. I have to activate a spell, and then he can stop my monster effects. Um... Alright. We've got one shot, one opportunity. Mom's Spagoodly. I guess he can negate that. Okay, yeah, he can negate that. We've got zero shots, zero opportunities. He's... Stop! Stop! Criminal scum! Um... Hmm... Hmm... But he negated it, so now that's his one negate. Do I have literally anything? Um, actually, yeah, kind of. Because six and two makes an eight. Um, which just lets me make Ascalon. Yo, what's up? This has no counters. That can't be targeted. So what we're going to do is I'm going to attack over this guy. Because I have more. Fuck you. Wait, he does stuff. I shouldn't have done that. Instant regret. A million times regret. Regret infinite. Okay, no, he just searches that. Okay. I'm slightly fine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to banish this guy and banish that. And just be like, no, you're not allowed. So, see, this guy's effect is you can banish a drag unity from the graveyard to banish a monster your opponent controls. And so the neat thing about that is it's not once per turn. If you actually get off a whole bunch of combos, if you don't just make it with Tefnuit and this guy, then you'll usually have, like, three drag unities in the grave. Sometimes you can have up to five if you do a whole lot of combos and shit, and then you'll just be like, yes, and I'll banish this and one of those and two of those and one of those, and everything is nice and banished. Have a nice day, good sir. So the real question is, I am trying to remember, I, if I, 
I believe that one of the big flaws of in Endymion is getting over monsters with more than like 3,000 attack. I'm not sure if he has an out to this necessarily. I mean, obviously he's got the big, he's, he's got uh, this guy. He can remove four, okay, so never mind. He can just summon that guy and remove four spell counters from everywhere in the field. So I'm pretty much just doomed. But this was like worst case scenario for us anyway. And he didn't summon those. He summoned all of these. What does this do? Okay, never mind. Everything gets returned. Okay, he hasn't. He had it out the whole time. I thought this was like another negate thing. I don't really know Endymion all that well. That's fine. Let's just go ahead into the fourth duel. <laughs> Alrighty then. Fourth duel versus Kuma. I believe that is a um, that is a Street Fighter character, if I'm not mistaken. We're going first. Fortunately, though, we've got cards of consonants along with a, a tuner. Fortunately, we've got cards of consonants along with a tuner, and that's a pretty dang old good hand. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Um, okay. I think what I'm going to do... Could I build something? I'm, I, you don't have very many good first turn sort of plays. So what I'm going to do, we're going to equip this with Dragoonity Lance. The attack boost doesn't matter in this case. All it's going to let you do is let you equip a tuner from your deck. And we're going to pick Phalanx. Very important for this one. We've got two tuners. They're both level 2. The only difference is uh, Phalanx you can make non-Dragoonities with. If you use the other one, you're kind of locked to Dragoonities. But you can also treat it as a level 4 if you want to. Which lets you make the, the big guy a lot easier, or the, the level 8. But this time we want to go for that, summon this, make a dang old Crystal Wing. There you go. There's our first turn play. We got a negate on board. Hopefully that'll slow them down enough, and then next turn we can do even more things. Because we've got our Dragon Ravine, we've got a guy. Welp, doesn't that just fuck my puggle? Doesn't that just puck my knuckle? Doesn't that just twist my tits into a little mist? I don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> I like to I like to make up silly things. It's a way I vent my frustration with being hit by mind control. I really should make another mind control deck. There's so many decks I probably should make and then I don't. Oh hey. Almiraj. This is a new card. Okay, so we're playing against invoked mech knight, it looks like. Okay. Gotcha. Does that, does that get the... Negate any... Okay, so he can negate my monster effects, but that's not necessarily all that bad for this deck in particular. Because it can do so many things without necessarily needing monster effects. We'll see what he does. I mean, he's also got a Mechaba. Everything just making, like, two, ne three negations? Two negations. Second turn. I guess it makes sense why he wants to go second and not, not first. If he went first, I might have had more things I could have done. Because he wouldn't have been able to do as much. Maybe this and then pass. Hard to say. If he had discarded, if he had discarded Alistair, I could have been left with one. Just one. All right. Um, okay, that helps me out a bit. Let me think about what I want to think about. Fuck. All right. We're going to pass that out. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Um, we're going to activate this. He's probably not going to negate it. Um, let's add one level four, let's discard this and get ducks. He's cocky, his confidence will be his downfall. Hopefully, maybe, hard to say. Let's go ahead, okay, so, normal summon this over here. Activate, we're going to equip this guy. And then he's probably going to activate that. 
and be like, well, I'm going to summon a thing there, and I'm going to be like, no, I don't want you to. Please get out, and then maybe he'll use this on that. No, he'll just move him over. Okay. Well, that leaves me with nothing. With pretty much just nothing, because this can't attack, and even if it could, this is not. Okay, so move man for game. A sad state of affairs. Just like, eh. And then he'll just negate this, and then even if he didn't, there wasn't anything I could do. A sued stewed of a foods. Oh well, here, fifth duel, let's go into the fifth duel and see if we could do something. Okay, so here we are, fifth duel, going up against a Mortal Kombat character, perhaps, possibly, hard to say. Not doing so well so far. I don't know if I've, maybe I've just lost my touch deck building, maybe I need to change the way I test. Or perhaps I'm just getting, I'm going up against all these decks that are like go second decks when this is a go second deck. Normally, I, it's just full of go first decks. Okay, so let's, let's try this again. We're just going to make the same old crystal wing that we did before. Let's crystal wing like we did last summer. Why, what do we, he's got some kind of hand trap. I wonder if he could stop this. Let's twist again, like we did last year. Summon the phalanx. Hello. Waiting. Alright, let's summon Vajirana, or whatever. Just, just drag Unity Knight Vag. For whatever reason, they have somewhat lewd-sounding names. This will get attach a, 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 a drag unity from its... Uh, up, 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 mm, ar, mer, ar, stop right there, criminal scum! All right. So I've got a 1900 beater. <laughs> and we end our turn. I can do some stuff next turn, maybe? Possibly? I could pretend. Oh, no. Oh, it's evil eye. Oh, what an evil eye we have. I've just got to hope that Serzio, that he doesn't have Selene in his, in his deck. Or he doesn't have it in his hand. He's not using the effects? Oh, there he goes. I say thee nay. Stop right there, criminal scum. Turn about is fair play, you see. <laughs> yeah, I would have thought, I thought Evil Eye was all about their, uh, their floodgates. I would have thought their thing would be like, you know, don't, don't, don't let your opponent get set up. I thought they would want to go first. Going second, Evil Eye. Very interesting. Okay, he has no Evil Eye of Selene, as far as I could tell. No Selene Dion this day. Okay. We're going to activate Dragon's Ravine. We're going to discard Bandistock and get a duck. Good old ducks. Best card gets things going. Hoo -doo 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 -doo, and he gets things going. Okay, normal summon. Because we've already got this on board. So what we're going to do is cry just a little bit. Just a tiny bit of tears. Um, because I forgot that all I can make is this, which isn't gonna help me against this like spell trap heavy deck. Um So you know what? We're going to go for Psyframe Lord Omega because that'll clear out our that'll clear out our extra monster zone. Let's just kill this. Hopefully. Hey. And then I know he can't OTK us. It's not something that evil eyes do. So as soon as I get a chance, I'm just going to rip something out of his hand so it's like one less okay. Or not, or I'll just get a Kamungus, that's fine. I mean, either way, he's down one less card from his hand. What can this... Oh, he's playing Hakai. Evil Eye Hakai. So this is destroyed, you can get that back. Okay, and then he normal summons Serzial, and then he gets the Evil Eye of Selene. And then I think I'm just doomed. Pretty sure I'm doomed. So he could do all sorts of shit. Fuck. Fucking kaijus, right when I had the things I wanted to have. 
I could have maybe gotten this out of his hand. I could have maybe gotten the evil eye out of his hand. Or tried to snipe it. It would have at least got, getting, getting, given me a chance. Because now he's got this. Now he's going to make the guy. And then he just like... Link summons with my monsters that he gave me. Which I guess makes sense why he has the kaijus. Because you give me a kaiju and then things happen. Target one card on the field and destroy it. Okay. So yeah, he link summons with my guy. And then he gets another guy that can link summon with my guy. And then he gets a bigger guy who can do stuff. And then he's got this, which is a quick effect. Target one special summon monster and destroy it. And unless I draw, like, the nuts, I'm gonna be fucking doom screwed. The worst kind of screwed. Um... Hmm. What do I want to add back into the deck? How about one of these? I could maybe use it again. Target one special summon a monster your opponent controls. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't really... Target one face up special summon. Okay. So yeah, I just gotta I just gotta bait this out like right now. Just like right this second. Um no, actually. I'll let him do that. So what we're gonna do is basically I'm gonna do this and then hope next turn I have a chance. Because that way I can I can negate both him and the evil eye and then do some things. Um, let's see. One card you control. Okay. So then he destroys this, and then he gets to summon a Hakai. No, he destroys Selene. So he can move it, because he knows I have infinite impermanence, and he's a clever boy. He's a clever, smoky boy, running around with his evil eyes and his Haka shocks. What does this do? You can banish it, and then... Oh, oh he can banish. Okay. Gotcha. Yep, and I think that makes me doomed. I was really hoping I could get both of them with one shot, but if I can only d get one of them, I can't play through the second one. Or maybe I can't. We'll see. Get one of those out. Maybe he'll destroy it immediately? Uh, yeah, because I believe the, 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 the Link 3 doesn't have a quick effect. I'm going off that assumption. Target one face up immediately after this. Okay, whale of the... Oh, but I can't target him anyway. Okay, so that's that's why. Yeah, so now I'm just fucked. Because he could just destroy whatever I make. A sad state of affairs. Why you gotta be making me go first all the time? Hmm... I mean, none of this matters. I'll be back if something happens, but I'm pretty sure we just lose again. Go to- yep, we just lose again. He's not even gonna let me do the things. Okay. Sad. <laughs> Here we are, the sixth duel once again. We're gonna- at least we get to choose to go second. And we've got- we've got cards of consonants with a tuner. Hey, that means we draw cards. Ugh. My deck, my deck needs the graveyard, and it doesn't play Twin Twisters, so we just lose. We just lose this automatically. I just, I've lost already. There's, there's nothing I can do. I. I mean, even if, uh, what is this? Um, gains levels while in Necro Valley, and any card in the field. Yeah, I can't. Even if I played Twin Twisters, there's nothing I could do. Can't target cards in the graveyard. Can't banish cards from the graveyard. Can't grave my brave yard. Um, can't get over 3,800 without doing some stuff. I don't think. Let me think about this. I know I can, I can get three monsters on board. 
Um. And then it's like, this I need to banish. This I need to... I can activate it, but it lets me get a dragon out of the graveyard. And, or it lets me special summon one. So the sad thing is, if I could active, well, if I could activate the graveyard, I wouldn't be in this problem to begin with. But I could make, I could make, uh, not agave, I could make boral load dragon. Um, let's see. This card and any card in your field zone cannot be destroyed by card effects. I could still target him though, but I just I can't banish anything, um, and I can't go up into my level six because this can't get anything out of the graveyard. Like I could make Ascalon, and then Ascalon can do fucking nothing because it can't get over. It's thirty three, and he managed to make this thirty seven. So GG, I need the graveyard. Well, you know, okay, one second. Maybe I can, maybe I can, maybe. Let me try the, okay, one second. Okay, make this. Add a lance from the deck to the graveyard. No, that doesn't help me because I can't equip the lance to my monster because I can't make the big one. This would be great if half my hand wasn't dead. Summoning. Oh wait, no, no, no. Okay, I got this. I got this dog. Took me a second. Now I can make a boral load, cause two, three, four. Fuck you, you piece of poop. Um. Yes. Oh, okay. I guess that. And then use the other. Okay. I wanted to be sure. There you go. I made a Borolo dragon. I stole your spirit supernaturalist. If he has Raigeki or Dark Hole or something, I'm just I'm just screwed. There's nothing I can do. I'm not sure what other removal he has. Um, I believe most of the Gravekeeper removal has to target. He could make another one. Another one, but it's not as big. Um, okay. And I can still target him. End of main phase? No, end phase. Let me activate that. I need to do it now, because then he'll have equip cards up, and I'll be sad. Okay. Um, I can't, I still can't get out of the grave. I still have, I have no way to get rid of Necro Valley. Not a single darn way. I'm gonna negate the summon? Um. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it and see if he negates it just because he can. Maybe I can get him to waste one of his negates. Nope, okay, stop right there, criminal scum. Okay, you get attacked. No. 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 I'm not activating anything. I know you've got all sorts of spell traps. You're like discount spell trap warehouse. My only hope is that you can't get anything over 3,000 now, because if you can, then I, I just won't be able to, to do anything. Ha <laughs> ha! Papyrus! I can't, I can't banish anything from the graveyard. I can't summon anything from the graveyard. I can't live. I can't die. I can't be who I want to be. Um. So this should be able to kill it. And unless it's Spy, then I get in for another 1,700. It's Spy. So he gets something. Some kind of thing. Flip effect. But does he have anything that could get rid of me? Nope, just another one of those. Okay. It could crash into my duck. What kind of duck would you like to see? What kind of duck is there for me? Everybody ducks, oh why don't you? Everybody ducks and they have a big shoe. 
400, okay, he's gone, he's dead. Banished, perhaps, to the Hinterlands. Um, neither player could special summon- I couldn't special summon monsters anyway. I'm down to normal summons. That's just how I am. Um, and this isn't gonna do anything, so... There you go. And people wondering, like, people have asked me to play Gravekeepers, and my response is like, no, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, he plays Mirror Force. Okay, well, I'm doomed. Yeah, because it's just sitting on stuff and traps and stuff. It's very boring. It's Floodgates the deck. And now that that's gone, I'm just doomed. It's Floodgates the deck, but more, but with more steps. You could just play a bunch of generic Floodgates and get the same kind of effect. You're just not. And I have no twin. If I had twin twisters, oh, I guess I should have put just put three twin twisters in here. Oh well. I mean, I can attack for a hundred. We'll just go ahead to the next duel. <laughs> All right, here we are. Seventh duel versus Act. Actolorice, something like that. We get to go second again. I'm I'm feeling a little sad. I must say, I am I am sad out of ten. This is like the second deck in a row where it's just like, oh, look at all those losses in the X column. That's or all those X's in the loss column. That's that's unfortunate. I usually after the sixth after the fifth duel, I'll do like a thing where I explain the Patreon. And this time, I was going to give a shout out to someone. Because someone actually paid, like, the $75 just to get a shout-out for their Twitch stream. But I feel bad doing this when the deck is performing so poorly. Makes me feel like, you know... I, I need to give them a shout-out on an episode that's doing good, that'll be popular and, and famous and uh, things that exist. Um, at least I'm playing against Toons. I think I can beat Toons. If I can get a win, then I'll be, I'll be happy. Um, let's see... What do we want to do? We want to send a drag unity to the graveyard. Discard one of these. Send. And I can't target. Man, this this not running Twin Twisters. I didn't run it because I was like, I already have so many, I already have so many decks where it's like Twin Twisters, three of and everything. And I feel like it's getting really, really repetitive. But, uh, without it, not much happening, I tell you what. At least I could do some combos, though. Okay, so we can get this, pop that out. Um, then we're gonna summon this, and instead of making a thing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the, uh, the Link Monster. The Link Monster will get us the Dragunity Lance. Big Lancey boy. And then that Lance... In turn, we'll let us summon out, well, let us equip any Dragunity from the deck. And we're going to pick this one. Hey, how's it going? Nice to see ya. And then we're just going to do the ladder climb. We're going to climb that dang old ladder. Do the level six. Bada bingo. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, they'll get more damage on board. When you summon a Synchro, you can, with this, you can summon a Dragunity from your, or no, not a Dragunity, a Dragon or Winged Beast from your hand. It's in defense position, and it can't be used as Link material, but it can be used for non-Link material. I believe it can be used for Synchro material. I could be wrong now that I'm thinking about this. Okay, so let's go ahead. We actually want to go for Baracus. B.A. Baracus. Yeah, it can be used for Synchro. Okay, so we make this, and this guy, the level 8, he can equip all the, all the equip cards from your graveyard. Which you can then get out and just, like... This is, like, if you play the Guard Dragon version of the deck, this is where you summon, like, all the things. Just every last thing. Um, so let's see. One, two, three, four. So that'll allow us to make, again, Boral Load, because he can't be targeted. Yeah, we'll make a Boral Load. Hello? And then we'll make this guy. Big boy. Big chungy boy. So, attack. No. And then yes. 
bring that over here. And then we'll hit him for 33 and 19. And he surrendered! And we finally did a thing! Could this be the turnaround? We have to win the next three duels for this to break even. But hopefully, we can, li we can, we can win the next three duels after this word from our sponsor. <laughs> Oh hey, hello, it's just me again. I'm 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 giving the word for the sponsor. I don't have like an ad or anything. But yeah, there's this guy, maybe you've heard of him, Joe Average, one of the biggest, highest donating patrons for a long time. And rather than request an episode, he wanted me to give a shout out to his Twitch. Twitch.tv slash open mall. He and his friends are actually playing not Dungeons and Dragons, but a game similar to it. Sort of like a critical role style thing. If you're interested in seeing people play tabletop games live, he does it every Thursday around 4 o'clock. You follow him on Twitch and you'll get the notifications when they go live. And again, they're not actually playing D&D. &D. Instead, they're playing this homebrew system. Their DM Phoenix has created his own sort of world. I believe he's writing a novel or he's wrote some novels and he's based their system off the fantasy world he's created there. So if you want to see some D&D &D style action, but with a unique universe, homebrew system, and you know, just let the people who support this show know that, that their support is appreciated, go ahead and check that out. Again, twitch.tv slash open mall every Thursdays. And with that, let's jump right back into the duels. <laughs> All right, here we are, eighth duel versus Kagemi. We've got a lot of weird Japanesey sounding names today. I'm not sure why. But my hope is renewed. We won that last one. Hopefully we can win this one. Maybe? Possibly? He's already drawing cards. <coughs> That's going to give him an extra card to do stuff with. How much will he be able to do? Is he going to go all guard? No, we're playing against Cybers again. <laughs> At least I think it's Cybers. It could be Salamangrate. I'm not sure if we can play it. No, probably not with this hand. Well, actually, oh no, he's playing Process Slayers. Those are the big, uh, those are the big, like, FTK, or not FTK, they're like an OTK Cyber Synchro deck. I've seen them once before. They have, they have a big thing. Control no cards in the extra monster zone. When this card is in your hand, special summon it, banish it when it leaves the field. Uh, you can add summon anything but Cybers. Um, Synchro, you can treat it as a non-tuner if you want. Target one level four, it becomes level eight until this the end of this turn. Um, this card is in the graveyard. You can target a Cybers. Double its attack. Just double. Unaffected by card effects, except for Rosses Slayer cards. Okay, so I believe... Well, this is... Um, this has to be in the graveyard. Does that other thing have a graveyard effect? Uh, no, it's not even in the graveyard. It got banished. Okay. So, if this card in the extra monster zone battles a monster, any battle damage it inflicts is double. If it's destroyed by battle, you can add one. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to do this. Discard. Band, uh, yeah, not band of stock. What, what's this guy's name? Oh, I have one right. Course. Of course! Um, okay, we've got some things. Okay, so normal summon this. Or not normal, special summon. We've got that. Waiting. Whatever this is, it's got me worried. Okay, normal summon this. And then we're going to get Bandastock into the graveyard, because this can discard one to equip something from the deck. Infinite Impermanence. Okay, that actually works out just perfectly fine for us. So what we're going to do, that was set here, right? I need to not activate anything in that column. Okay. So target one gra dragon in the graveyard. Summon it. Um, yeah, we're going to go for this. Add to hand? No. Special summon. Nice little card. Level four lower dragons. And we're going to make Romulus. Romulus. He's roaming your lisses. He's going to add a Divine Lance. Okay, so Divine Lance, I'm actually going to equip it to Romulus, so if he survives, I can use it again next turn. Which he might survive, and I could use it again next turn. Um, and what we're going to do is... We need the level 8, 
So yeah, I gotta equip course to him. We're gonna equip course, of course. We're gonna summon it. And we're gonna make the level 8. Who can equip all the things. He's going to equip so many things. Um, do I want... Um... Dragon or Winged Beast. Yeah, I could get that out of my hand. And that'll make sure I don't... I could chain block, kind of. Boop, boop, boop. So that comes out. This goes here. This goes here. And this will be negated, right? Okay. Darn, he's got 2,900. The thing, this lets you attack twice. So there, there's a cool thing, like, you can do massive amounts of damage if they've got less than 3,000. Unfortunately, he has more than 3,000. So instead, we're just going to do this. I don't think I could summon this. Nope, negated. I probably should have done that reversed, and then I would have had more things. Okay, so we want to use the guy who can't be used as link material. We're going to make Biggin. Biggin out of ten. And... This, just for extra damage. Just for extra damage. Um... Actually, he's got high attack value, so let's go for Great Fly. That'll give me even more boosted attack. Big boost, and it'll lower him because they're Earth. Okay, and I can't target that. It's unaffected by things in the extra monster zone, but I can banish this. Unaffected by card effects. Okay. But it's not unaffected by being attacked the shit out of. Eight hundred. Mine is bigger. So the real question is, can he then, like, FTK... Special summon it, it gains a thousand. Well, fuck. Doesn't that just fuck a truck? So, he's gonna have four thousand and do double battle damage, and if he can double its attack again... Um... Maybe I should have added that. Yep, I think that's just it. Oh well, I'm gonna move this over here. Double battle damage. At least I banish this, so he can't... Oh yeah, he can't double its attack again. But you can see what this, like, summon this out. It does... It does a thousand extra damage. And then it does double battle damage. And then you double it again, so it has... Uh, eight thousand and does double battle damage. So pretty much anything it battles against is gonna be... Is gonna be an OTK. Um... You can send one, the equipped monster gains attack equal to the sent monster until the end of the turn. So, how much... How much is he going to be able to do, and will it be enough to OTK me? 500? There's 26, and then I get something back. Let's go ahead and put Romulus back, just in case I need it. That'll be nice. Alright, and he's now in the main monster zone, which means I should be able to, if I'm correct, just banish this and banish that. Um, and then target one Ross Slayer in your graveyard, add it back to your hand. Okay, but I think I've... Oh, got this, because three... Four... Yeah, we're good. I'll just attack with this. And unless he has something... Um... 1,000? Waiting. 3,300? Hey, I actually won a game by attacking and doing things with attacks! It's everything I ever hoped for! Clap hands because that's what people do today. Let's go into the ninth duel. <laughs> and here we are in the ninth duel against the Whispering Shadow. And I'm whispering appropriately because that's what happens when you go against the Whispering Shadow. He's playing World Legacy in Shadows. 
That kind of that kind of makes sense. I used to have a cat named Shadow. He died though. R.I.P. Cat. Um. Well, that's a mildly upsetting. Uh, let's see. During your main phase, you can banish this card. Oh wait, no. The monster is special summon from the extra deck. You can tribute this and send that monster to the graveyard. Okay. So what we're gonna do? Add Lance. No. Um. Activate. Add one, discard one card, add one drag unity. We're just going to get rid of our other terraforming. And we're going to add, um, hmm, 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 hmm. We're going to add this. This has a little bit, slightly more utility. And then we're going to cards of consonance it. Get it in the graveyard. Add some stuff. You're just what I needed. Boo doo 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 doo. And then what we're going to do is, like, normal summon this. This guy will equip this guy. We'll summon him. And then we could do more stuff, but that's a quick effect, and I don't want that, so... We're just going to attack into zero, because we can. Attack for 1900, because we can. And I forgot that can't attack, but that's just fine. That's fine for us and fine for the people we love. Um, and then we're going to do a couple, just a couple combos. Just a, just a little bit of comboing. This, we're going to go ahead and search Dragon Ravine so we have a backup one. And then I'm going to activate this. Target a dragon in your graveyard. Yes, Phalanx. Add to hand? No. Special summon. Yay. Um, broop up boop. Make the level six. Broop up boop. Equip Phalanx. Phalanx unequips himself. Just the same basic combo. If you're playing this in real life, you'd just be like, dump a couple cards into the graveyard and be like, I'm just gonna end on Crystal Wing. I hope you don't mind. That's just what I'm going to do. And then this has a second effect where you can move a, a, a dragon monster, so we can just get this and be like, put it over here for a little bit. Set a card. Your move, holy man. I can banish your things out of the graveyard and negate one of your things. That's the best of both worlds. Um, okay. One world legacy card, how bad could it be? Oh, it's that one that mills a whole bunch and lets them add a thing. Ooh, I've had bad times with, uh, with, with pot, with jar of pot of jar, what? Morphing jar. <laughs> I was trying to remember. It's some kind of jar pot thing. Pretty soon we're going to get some vase cards that are like the jars and pots, but with fundamental differences. All right. Set in a card and then forget in the card. And he's just, he's just going to attack. All right. Ouch. Um, let's see. When your flip monster is destroyed by battle. Okay. What I need to do is not destroy a flip monster by battle. Um, let's see here. Okay, so what we're going to do, add one level four lower dragoonity. And we're going to get this guy, because we got our lance, so it doesn't matter. Normally this guy's kind of worse, because you got to discard a card. It's good if you have a tuner in your hand and need to get into the graveyard for later. But as it stands, we're fine. We're fine. We can fly, we can fly, we can fly, we can fly, we can swim. Uh, let's see. This guy. And actually, now that I'm thinking about things, um, leaves the field because an opponent's card effect. Well, doesn't that, okay, so, does this activate, um, all right, that put, okay, I was like, I'll make the big thing and just banish it. And then I realized that would be a terrible mistake. So instead, I'm just going to attack with the level 4 one. Because it's got more attack. I'll lose the lance, that's sad. 
I should have thought that I could have put this in attack and done another thousand. Oh, it sends it to the graveyard. For some reason, I thought it was back to the hand. I think I'm getting it confused with something else. I have defense. I have defense now. That's the important thing. Um, and there we go. We'll see what he can do. The The cool thing about this is that every turn I can pretty much just get like an 1800 and summon it. Because I can just search out that guy. Alright, um, let's just attack for game? Attack crawlers for game? Crawler Polydian. Special summon this as an effect. Okay. Um, let's see. When you're flip monster. This is not a flip monster. So, I could just kill this. Okay, so he's just... is Okay, I should have put this into attack position, and then I could have done more. Or summoned this, and then I could have won. I was worried about, like, some kind of mirror force, though. I wouldn't put it past crawlers to do some kind of mirror force. We will... Okay, he didn't do anything last time. This time... He won't be so lucky. We're going to special summon this by banishing a wind. We should be safe. Unless unless this is something. Solemn warning. Take yourself out. Okay. If that's a mirror force and he waited, then I've just played the most dangerous game. Nope, I could have just attacked. Okay. We got another. We got. We've got three wins in a row, gentlemen and non-gentlemen. And things that, that neither aren't defined. You know, the point is, we got three wins. One more will at least break even. Not something I normally want to do, but given how the first, how the second through six duels went, I'd really like to break even. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Okie dokie. Here we are, tenth duel. All the drama, all the, the things. We get to go second. We're against... Jovesy 21 an interesting name. I'm Titus Labinus, by the way. Comment in the comments if you know who that is. I'll give you a moment if you want to try- Oh. I was- I was about to do trivia, and now we're playing against Psyframes. Here come the Psyframes to ruin all the fun. Um... Normal summon? You got a thing for that? Why don't I play Twin Twisters? Ooh, Twin Twisters. Okay, well, he's got this one. Which kind of sucks, but... Um, let's see, if he attacks... So you can make the seven, that's Zeta. Zeta can target a special summoned monster. Um Do I have anything that'll survive the attack? No. No, I don't. Uh at least I could do this. Let's see, let's get out one of these. Well, at least I could do stuff while he's while he's in the middle. Ooh, did I play any rank fours? I forget. No, I did not. Oh, what would have been really good for this is that uh, uh, Ice Beast Zerophane that could just negate everything on the field. That would have been sweet. Oh, uh, he could have just gotten rid of all the materials. I could have maybe baited it out though. Masturbated it out? <laughs> Probably not. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I need to get rid of that field spell. I need to try to get rid of that field spell. Please, do not banish me before I can get rid of that field spell. Okay, just bottom list. 
All right. Um, well, that sucks. I always hate Psy frames. They're so lame. They, they, I, I've done this rant before. They're not like a good deck. They're just a really boring deck to play, to play with and play against. If you're playing with them, you're entirely at the mercy of your opponent. You just wait for them to do something and then you activate it. There's no thought or calculation that goes into it. It's just sort of like, oh, you activated this thing. I have the card that negate. He realized it. He realized how bad it was and he surrendered. <coughs> you know what? I'm just not going to count that one. I'm not going to count the Psy frame battle because Psy frames are terrible. I could count it as a win, but let me see if I can get an actual win and an actual duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are, 10th duel, for real this time. Hopefully against Low Mello Lito. We've got a pretty, pretty awesome hand. It glows with an awesome power. It tells me to defeat this guy who's just going to set, set three pass. Set four, set three, okay. Could be deadly, per perhaps, perchance. To dream, to sleep. Um. Yeah, let's see. We're gonna normal summon this guy. Start off, Senatus. Discard a drag unity. Uh, equip a drag unity. Um. We're gonna go for. This guy. Because I think I wanna make. Is this face up cards? Um. No, it's just any one monster. Okay, so we can hopefully get rid of his monster if we can make that guy. Or we could just attack a whole bunch, now that I think about it. Now nah, we're good. Um, yeah. Wait, yeah. Possibly, yeah. Okay. Um, this guy. Level 8. Equip all of the things. Or rather, both of the things. And then we're going to summon this. And then we're going to summon this. And then, yes. Yes, indeedy. We'll go for this guy. Ascalon. Big boy. Biggest boy. Big out of ten. Get rid of Senatus because he's useless in the graveyard. Banish the Orchrist. I've played, I'm playing against meta and I didn't even realize it. Who would have thunk such a thing was possible? Gonna go in for 4k damage. Starting to consider maybe my other plays. If I did something, I could make Crystal Wing that might be better against Orcist. Um. Now, I already, I already invested time in it. Let's just keep it at this for now. And hope that my, my plays aren't sad. I'm not about to be a sad boy. I might be a sad boy. Any any two monsters with different names can go through the entire Orcist combo. Doesn't matter what he's playing. Cosmic Cyclone. Alright. Or no, Galaxy Cyclone. So I can't negate that. Oh, Nenrai Geki. When this thing is destroyed, though, you could summon a drag unity from your, your extra deck. And then this guy can just, like, attach everything. Any number of dragon-type drag unities. And then he gains attack for each. 300 for each. And then if you get banned a stock in the graveyard, he can, like, attack twice. So there's, there's some cool, like, OTK things you can do with this guy. Just not particularly at the moment right now. Um, so let's get this out. Let's get that out. I wish I could summon these from the thing, but I can't. And yeah, let's just go for this again. It worked so well last time. Let's just banish one of these. Banish that. <laughs> again? <laughs> again. It was so easy, I thought I'd do it again. So there we go, an actual win. I could I could ask the same thing of him. You just said another Orca skeleton. I'm really curious what his set's cards were. Let's real quick, before we go to the end, 
let's see see Orcust set and see what this is. <laughs> All right, it looks like he's got Mare Mare. I believe that's something you want to summon off of something else. And he started with this as well. It looks like he drew... Okay, he's playing Ghost Sister and Slash Draw. Strange and some some Light Swords. Just the one? Just the one Light Sworn. So some sort of weird, pure-ish Orcus deck? Hard to say. What did he have in his extra deck? Purist, but also with the Yazzie combos that you could do with Mare Mare. And Needle Fiber, because why not? Because they have a couple tuners. Alright, well that was weird. But I still, I'm still counting it. I beat Orcus. No one can tell me otherwise. You can try in the comments, but I ain't listening to that shit. <laughs> so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Dragunity beatdown. We went 5-5. Five and five. Not the best showing, but probably on par with how well this deck performs. It can do a couple more neat things. Hopefully you could at least see kind of where it was going. This guy can be an awesome boss monster if your opponent doesn't have all the negates. Being able to turbo out Crystal Wing, pretty decent first turn play, especially if you can back it up with like one of these two. This guy being able to equip everything, you can then summon it out, you could do link plays, you could do synchro plays. We never got like an OTK kind of build, but you definitely can with this. And, you know, if, you, if you're the kind of person who likes the guard dragons, I don't really like those combo decks where you're using like other archetype stuff to make random things, but you can hopefully see how that might work, especially with this guy, again, just summoning so many dragons out of the graveyard. Either way, thanks for watching. Next time, I'll be looking at Magical Musketeers because I have another Patreon request. I have many, many Patreon requests, probably for the next, like, three weeks, so look forward to that. And until next time, good luck and have fun. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Just wanted to take a moment to thank all my patrons for making the show possible, but especially the high-tier patrons who ride the dragon of personal finance through the ravine of my hopes and dreams. In particular, the Highlander, Salt Lake Kale, the Lord of Patreon, Joe Average, Slamuel, AJ Kelly, Buster Blader, Night Fang, Hobbsy, Chris W, Montry, Skilled Summoner, Banish for Cost, Austin Glover, Daniel Frowsing, Lucas Geardis, Hayden T. Hurd, John Drews, Antonio Simonelli, Quintingent, Dancing Joker, Inner Hype, Mr. Eiffel, Ike of the Grail Mercenaries, Live Bait, Diotic, Jeffrey Longrano, Mutagene, and Manuel Torres. Each and every one of them donated at least $25, and they have my eternal gratitude. If you'd like to join them, the Patreon link is in the description, and this episode's secret passcode of the day is not quite good, but not quite bad. Be sure to include that in a comment below to show you made it all the way to the very end. Thanks again, and have a nice day.